Yeah, I said it, F Santa Claus. I'm just saying, remember when you were little and you could like watch TV and all the hottest new toys were on and you'd be like, oh snap, I want that one, that one, and that one, right? And you'd be like, okay, just make sure you're a good kid. And so you vacuum the floors and you got A's on all your tests and you drink all your milk and so you write it on this list and you give it to Santa and you basically tell his stupid ass, look, this is what I'm gonna get for Christmas because I did what I'm supposed to do. Everything's cool, right? Fast forward to two years after puberty, let's say. Now all of a sudden you want good things. You want a laptop, you want a dog, you want money. But nope, Santa want to get strange with the change. As if to say that throwing some dough into the oven and baking it for 20 minutes and leaving it on the counter for you isn't good enough anymore. He don't care if you mow the lawn. You can pick them weeds by hand. Too bad. Oh well, Santa's got other things to do. That's cool, Santa Claus. Keep acting like that. You wanna give me my new Steinway? Don't worry, I cracked the code. I know you pushing dope. I'm this close to finding where you be at. First thing I'm gonna do when I find you, I'm gonna pay them little L's of yours to change that sleigh into the world's first flying treadmill. Let's see you try to deliver them presents while the Christmas spirit come out of every single pour. We gonna see how holly jolly your stupid ass is now. Feel the burn. As for Mrs. Claus, that schizophrenic oblong blow up doll. Cause you know no same bitch is going down there. Really? The North Pole though? Yeah, yeah. Hey wife, uh, you know I got this crazy idea, follow me on this. I feel like I should give presents to every single kid on earth, you know, once a year. Uh, but I feel like making the toys wait on the North Pole. You down? Raise your hand if you're following him. Honestly though, I'm not gonna lie. I will commend you, Santa. That's probably the best any man who lives in the center of the North Pole with a fucking crumb-infested trucker beard and no income other than probably the occasional oatmeal raisin confection can do. I mean, how the hell does he even shower? I know he's not finna jump into some freezing lake, although I would definitely love to see him try. Talking about some ho ho ho, not my face, bitch. How about, instead of leaving out some cookies, why don't like, you know, every fifth house on the block lay out some toothpaste for Santa Claus so we can deal with that shit. Cause you know there ain't no Walgreens up in the North Pole. Mm hmm You checking that list twice, two times, with them unwashed hands and them stankin' ass wrinkled clothes and that unwashed underwear he been wearing for the last millennium. You wonder why Santa doesn't have to use a riding crop? It's because when Santa sits in that seat and says, ho, 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 time to go, the reindeer go, oh, what is that? And try to fly around the world to escape him. But it doesn't work, of course. Now, given that those are the only female companions that Santa happens to have, I find this somewhat predatory. No, I didn't make a mistake. Did you know that only female reindeer have antlers during winter? That's right. Those bitch ass niggas are really bitch ass lady niggas. Ballin'. It's a shame too, because they run so hard that by the morning, they're completely exhausted and have to enter yet another year of intensive care. I'm pretty sure the red, the red nosed one is on something. Like, I don't know, peppermint candy pills or something. Anyway, you know what it is, Santa. Come on by. Come on by this Christmas. I've got something for you ass. Come on down. Come on down. Egyptian Africa! 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 Africa!